Yep, back in. Today, we'll be mostly talking about sleeping bags. So I've got, that's a Rab 900, a Scent 900. This one ugh, is the Ascent 1100. Just as a, a point of interest to store them, what I do is I hang it up the coat hanger. This is the storage, may as well do this now. So I hang it up in there, put the, uh, zip it up, put it in here, and then the two tags on the bottom. You just thread it through like that and then you can hang it up in the cupboard or from your door, wherever, wherever you want to hang it. It keeps it lofted, but because you've halved it, it keeps it out of the way as well. So I think that's a good tip. That's a good little tip that. And the other was the other one. This is my budget one. Van Gogh Planet. 100. So I'm going to start with this, the planner. Alright, so it's in here. It's in this little, um, you get the stuff, I don't know if you can get these now, it's dead cheap, about 40 odd quid. I'll put links up. So this weighs 1100 grams. The width is about two feet, two and a half feet across at the, at the widest point for your shoulders. The length is about six foot two. Um, your comfort limit is eight degrees. It's definitely a summer bag, right? Eight degrees. Your um, extreme is four degrees and your limit is minus 10. But I would not be sleeping in that in minus 10. I just wouldn't. I'll just move these out of there. We'll just get it out. It's got a nice little compression bag to it. I actually don't I've never used this for like Christmas or long. Right, so that this little feature here is the compression bag. It turns inside out. And you can stuff um, stuff things in there. And make a nice pillow, that's a nice, uh, like a flocked effect. It's quite comfortable, like eh? you can make a nice little pillow out of it. Like, just, um, you know, your cord that you don't use or whatever. So, this has been a while since we used this one. The zips, right? The zips are the thing that you tell the cheaper bags because they don't use YKK zips. So you can use it. I'll just set this camera back a bit. So that's better. There you can see what I'm doing. So you get in it. Oh, God. And zip it up. That's basically just to see how big it is. Quite a good length. And you've got the added bonus of the mosquito net. Just zips around here. You can get in the hood. <laughs> get in here and then zip this net up. This zips up. So it's over your face. Once you get in. So look at it from this side. I'm sweating already. Right, so you get in, cinch in, put your bag on, and then zip up your net. Which is awkward when you can't remember. That's it. There you are, you're fully enclosed now. Mosquito net or midgey net. 
to warm the house up. And then you just fasten it there, right? Huh? You can just lie on that. Nothing will get you. You're well protected from the midges in there. It's not a bad bag. It's got a little pocket inside. <sighs> Better get out now. is the Van Gogh Planet summer bag. Now, there is other Van Gogh bags available and to be fair, they're not bad. A big pocket in the inside for your bits. Keep your phone warm if it gets cold. There's a few features like. Top tip is when you're zipping it, get your, get your hand in the zip in between the bag and the zipper and then pull it, pull it in like zip it up like that so you're not snagging the bag that's a top tip that so you put your hand in and the zip just follows your hand line no you bother right so that's the planet I didn't like it when it got hot when it got too hot so packing it away just use this again, stuff it in. It's a good idea when you're putting your bag in to twist it so it goes in like a, like a spiral. And then you can just find, find stuff it. That's all I have to do with stuff, that's what I call stuff socks. And then Push it down a bit. You've got this. This just goes on to keep it compressed. That's a right pain. Once you get the hang of it, I've never used it for such a long time. But once you fathom out what you're doing, <laughs> which I don't seem to be able to do, that's it. Let's put the bottom on first. And you just tighten it, find the other side of that, give you another clip in there, there we are. So that's it. Grams Van Gogh Planet, they're at 100, but there is Planet. I think there's a Planet 200. Nah, there's loads. Just have a look on online for the Van Gogh bags. But I wouldn't recommend minus 10. This summer bag only, lad. Even then, it does get a bit cold. Great. So, secondly, I'll show you the Ascent 900. Now, this it's become a very popular bag over the years, and I know why. That's it, why? Again, that's been that's been out of action. That's been under my bed actually. Um, the lift up bed, you know, and it's been just lying like that. So it's lofted. It's about five year old, four five year old. This bag. All right, nice YKK zip. This got. I've got the specifications. I'll just check my notes. Yeah, this one is 1,530 grams. It's 900 grams of down, that's why it's the 900. YKK zip. The limit, it only gives you the limit on the RAP website, is minus 18. That's the limit. Extreme is lower than that. But from experience, I think I've had this in minus 
10, minus 10. If you don't count the wind chill, because the wind chill for that night was about minus 15 or 16, but in the tent you didn't get the wind chill. So it's about minus 10 that night. And I had I had my trousers on and t-shirt and fleece. And I was I was perfect, perfectly warm. I don't think I've ever been cold in this bag to be fair. Like I think I was one time, but I had uh, taken my top off. I got a little bit chilly. It's got the YKK zips, much better zips. It's got a little inside pocket there. And the trick is that you put your phone in there and then the battery doesn't die in the cold. That's what I do anyway. Right, so you get in this. Go to the side again. And then nice smooth action. Unless it look really, I really do like this bag. You can cinch right in. I always found, I always found that when I was cold, if I put the hood up like this, it cinched in. So you warm up straight away. This is good. There's plenty of room in here for me. The length, I'm five foot eleven. I mean six foot six. And um. There's plenty of width, you know, you can toss and turn on a side sleeper mostly. And you can toss a bit and turn. And if you want. God. <laughs> it's not really a good idea testing these sort of bags out in the house. You've got the heating on. But the material inside, it's that Pertex. Pertex quantum. Inside it's nice and um, it's nice and slippy, so you know if you if you like turning, tossing and turning, the bag tends not to move with you, it doesn't stick to you. So you just turn because that material is really shiny and nice and smooth and silky. But yeah, good bag again. Put your hand in, bring it up. It sometimes snags that. Something's gonna snag. So what I've transported in is the Seat Summit. This one is what size is it? It's got a size on somewhere. I think it's small. So a tag with the size on. So do you think? Seat Summit compression bag. I'll find the I'll find the label when I find out what size it is. So it's about that big. So again, get the bottom of the bag, push it right in, and then just stuff it in, turn the bag, get it in evenly. Don't worry about compressing it because it all just comes back. It'd be rough you know. You've got to be quite rough actually to get it in. So far, I'm going to turn. I've done this so many times in the bad weather as well. It's a nightmare. Could actually do with a bit of a clean this. I, I use this red one mainly in the summer. I was just right in the summer when we did them summer camps. I was perfect in this. It's not too cold, not too warm. It's a four season bag after all. So when you've got it in, just push it down best you can. Looks hard, but it, is, it isn't easy. And you can't get a bigger bag. I think, oh there look, S. This is the small one. But when you see how small it compresses when you do get it in, it's worth the effort. Up. Right, so you get that on. Get the straps down, and then just pull it down. You know how compression bags work. There you go. 
And that is Rab Ascent 900 compared to the Vanguard Planet. It's not bad. Good that compression bag. See the summit. I wouldn't use anything less. Pretty knackered now. <laughs> right, lastly, we've got the ooh, Ascent 1100. Now I bought this because of that 900 was uh, getting on a bit and inside you can sort of see light through it if you hold if you get inside and you hold the light in the 11, in the 900 you can see light and you can see the feathers clumping so i thought yeah i'll get this 1100 was on special offer in gold doors now it's expensive but i'm a great believer in you want to get a good night's sleep you need a bag like this especially the conditions we go out in this was 200 pounds Go Outdoors had it on, um, I think it was on special offer for 200. I think they'd only just got it in, that's why they were giving it away, like for 200, not giving it away. It's 300 and something now. So I struck well, I aim was hot, and I think I feel I got a bit of a bargain because this thing is absolutely full of down. 1100 fill, Pertex outer, anti snag zip. I mean, look at that, what a place to be. It's absolutely luxurious, this thing. I love flipping in it. I've had some really good nights in here. <laughs> Sleeping in my bag, really good nights. So it's a bit wider at the foot box. It's a bit wider than the 900. It's wider at the top as well. Anti snag zip, see? It's just snagged. They don't all, they're not full of It's wider and it's longer than the 900 so in there I'm in ah, nice and cosy I can't stay in here too long ah, it's mint I don't want to go wish I was camping so when you're in and you, you cinch in like this it says the limit for this is minus 25 I think that might be a limit. Extreme, they don't give it. Comfort, they don't give it. But again, if you get too hot, you know, you just unzip it. So, like I am now. It's mint. You can use it as a quilt. You know, you can just open it up. Look, I open it up because it's pain. That's it, no, again. You can use it as a quilt if you want. Put your feet in there and then you have the rest of it on you. And just wrap it around. You might as well use it as a sleeping bag if you're going to use it as a quilt and wrap it around you. It's got the little pocket inside and there's absolutely zero light coming in. There's no light comes through. Absolutely pitch black in there. This is full of down. 1100 grams of down. So, tell you what, that is bloody roasting in there. Imagine getting stuck in that. Oh, be horrible that. See, see that anti snag zip? Just snag up was my fault, that. Being an idiot. Right, so, again, I always keep your hand in. Anti snag on that little snag. Always keep your hand in. And for this, I've got this Cedar Summit bag. I think this is the medium one. As you can see, it's not much different. It's a bit bigger. That one's bigger, obviously. That will go in there. But you do need a bigger one. It does take up a lot, a bit more room, obviously, because it's full of down. So, just get it shoved. Get it shoven. Shove it. Don't be scared. Just shove it. Broken shop shows this. I oh, was so horrified. <laughs> Watching them shoving it in, I'm thinking, oh my god, what's he doing? But that's the way to do it. Just 
you don't have to have these bags. They do come supplied with their own bags, which are a lot bigger and wider and easier to get them in, but they don't compress down as much as these do. If you're putting this in your backpack, you probably do need a compression bag. But like I say, they've got the, they come in their own bags. They come with a big white bag as well. That's your lofting bag and that's how you're meant to store it. If you've got no space, like I've got plenty of space. This is the medium one. I've got plenty of space so I don't put the, I don't use the lofting bag. But you can, and they're handy. It's got a big white sack. These always get tangled up, but once you've got it, once you suss it out. This is 1700 grams, this bag, which is getting on for two kilograms, isn't it? Probably nearly more like two kilograms with the, with the dry bag, with the compression bag. But if you compress it down enough, that'll go in your backpack. So you've got that, this is 1100. 900 summer bag planet to so you, you carry the same bag you're just gonna have more space oh, never run out of space in my bag that goes in no bother that one no problem obviously that one but that's it Whew. three bags i think these the 900 is about 200 i'll put some links up I don't get kickbacks, it's just to help people look, know what they're looking for. That's about 300 odd now, but if you're gonna go in extreme, you need it like. There's obviously the um, budget bags, the, the cheaper ones, there's the Alp Kit Sky High, which is a good bag. I think that's what Mr. Stoker has. He, he's been called a few times, but not really perilously. And there's snug pack bags. There's all kinds of bags, there's mountain equipment, that ice line bags, they're good. I just find these are the ones that I like. I am a rab snob like. I'll be the first to admit it. But it's quality, you know, it's quality gear. I've never been cold in either of these. I don't think I'll ever get cold in that green one. So that's it. Whew. Looks like Boris is sort of Seeing sense and uh, is might ease things up in March. We might be able to get out. Who knows? Hopefully, because I'm sick of these bloody reviews. <laughs>